Guys, I just replaced the crankshaft position sensor. Now, let's see if this is actually going to even start. I mean, we did a lot today. Crankshaft position sensor was replaced. Uh, we also replaced the spark plugs. Well, if we installed them correctly and we replaced all the ignition coils uh, with the eBay ones. So let's see if all the problems went away or we created new ones. You never know. Hey guys, to be honest, I'm kind of scared. I know what you might be thinking, what's the big deal, but I just went to, through such an ordeal where it was a little bit frustrating that my car wasn't starting and I was dealing with so many different issues that I inherited when buying this car. So, without no further ado, pause the video and write in the comments below, what do you think? Is it gonna start or not? I haven't tried it yet, guys. All right, you ready? Okay, let's look. Okay. Whew. Oh my God! It started, guys. The RPMs are at 2,000, and they're slowly dropping. So, anyways, guys, this is my dash right now. Obviously, at this point, there's no check engine light. Although, I don't know why we would get a check engine light. And right as I was saying that, we're starting to get this little check engine light flash. Now, this could actually mean that the coils are not that good. It can mean other things. So, I'll need to scan it and let you know what that is. I'll actually do it right now. I don't want to make it a spoiler. I'm going to hook up my computer right now and scan it. So we are getting a misfire in cylinder two. All right. Now, before I had cylinder one, all of these, um, all of these ignition coils are, are good. Uh, there shouldn't be any reason for any misfire. I checked everything out. Everything should be plugged in. Everything should be good. Uh, at the same time, guys, look, the, it's no longer flashing. Uh, I haven't cleared any codes, but here's what I'm going to do. And any proper job like this one, you, when you do it, you need to clear old codes. And this might be a new code, okay? Because I know I cleared the other ones, but just to make sure, I'm going to clear it. And we'll see if it comes back. So I just cleared the codes and I scanned it again. And currently, it has no faults. But as it warms up and has a chance uh, to function a little bit we may or may not have this code come back I could sense slight misfiring to be honest with you um, it's slowly somewhere in there but I guess we will find out for sure what's going on guys I could see it kind of warmed up a little bit uh, as of now I'm not pressing the guess at all let me see if I could slightly rev it just a little bit I like it, like right now it sounds fine. So anyways, that's gonna be it for now and uh, I'll let it warm up some more. But not now actually, I think I'm getting misfire right now. You know, as I let things go, I've noticed a slight misfiring going on. But guys, at the same time, you know, this may or may not be coils. I mean, it probably is coils. I, I analyzed things way too quickly uh, when I said it might not be uh, coils because the spark plugs wires are still the same. I got the new ones on order uh, from actual NGK uh, manufacturer. And uh, they should be in, in a couple of weeks. I don't know why it takes that long, but that's when... Oh, 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 no. It, it seems like it wanted to quit on me right now uh with that little misfire so 
yeah. But anyways, that might be something to do with it uh, with ignition coils because uh, they are they are kind of old, and I do believe that um, there's probably a, at least a slight chance the vehicle will shut off. I think there's a slight chance. Um, let me see, I, I really don't want it for it to shut off. I think there's a slight chance um, of the ignition uh, spark plug wires not uh, being that good like for transmitting electricity so possibly installing some new ones should do the trick but anyways guys i'm gonna go ahead and get off here and uh, monitor the situation i don't want to really bore you with all of this stuff i mean i want to show you i just don't want to make it kind of like last time and just sit here and bore you with all my revs it just i think uh, for a lot of mechanics it's important to kind of see exactly what's going on and right now it almost quit and that was me revving it up and uh, why would it do that? Why would it do that? I mean, I would like to take it on a test drive, but if it's misfiring or there's a potential of it dying on me while, it, while driving, uh, that would not be good. I'm just gonna wrap this up. Guys, I don't know if my Mazda RX-8 is gonna be dead or alive. But it's already warmed up a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and actually just shoot some fireworks here. guys round two Seems like it's doing okay for now. I guess we'll see. So, anyways, guys, after doing a couple rounds of uh, trying to shoot some flames, um, it did not overheat. Um, of course, it is right now mainly water inside of the radiator. Uh, I know the, that water is heating up somewhat. I did uh, check uh, the coils. I tried to plug them in further. There's really no room to plug them in further. I could probably use some uh, electric contact grease on them to see if that helps. But uh, no check engine light has came back, as you could see. But I'm going to quickly run codes and see if any of them came so, back. So we do have a cylinder to misfire detected pending. Um, so it hasn't had a chance to come up, come up yet, but it is pending. It's okay. Last time it was cylinder one. Now it's a cylinder two. I mean... It can also be probably spark plugs because um, uh, we are using two old spark plugs that might not be any good. So tomorrow new spark plugs will come in and I'm going to actually install new ones. Even though it's probably too soon, but I'm going to go ahead and actually take it out for a spin. Hey guys, I have taken it on a test drive and so far so good. The car is behaving like very nicely. It's very lively. It actually accelerates, I believe, faster than it was before. Um, currently, I'm installing a tune on it uh, with new spark plugs uh, and just a downpipe, uh, not a full exhaust system. And we will see what it does, zero to 60 uh, or even, you know, quarter mile and stuff like that. So I'm very curious. So guys, as I was getting before, 10.6, zero to 60, nothing has changed. This is the performance that I'm getting. So guys, we are back. Um, the check engine light has not came on. The car performed flawlessly the entire time. 
I cannot really ask for more. The performance is what it was before. I mean, what can you expect? It is an automatic with 129,000 miles. Um, most everybody, they don't check, uh, you know, the zero to 60 and probably, who knows, it might not even be correct. But that being said, it does perform like actually like really good. So if I didn't know any better, I would think it had all of its performance. Like it literally puts you back in the seat. Uh, it accelerates somewhat fast. Um, I mean, as fast as I think you could expect from a Mazda X8. There are definitely some exciting, some excitement to to drive it. But One thing for sure, guys, I'm really happy just to get this car back and running again. Like, uh, performance aside, I mean, it is running. Um, so I guess what's next for it? So next, install two more new spark plugs. Uh, install spark plug wires when they come in. Uh, install a Canon air intake. Um, we do still need to fix the steering wheel angle type of issue, whatever that is. Um, and I do need to replace radiator fluid. And did I say oil change? I know I keep saying all these things, but that's what's next. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Take care of yourself, guys, and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.